The psychological thriller series Dead Ringers on Amazon Prime Video follows Elliot and Beverly Mantle, identical gynecologists who have an unshakable friendship. It is based on David Cronenberg's self-titled film and twins by Barry Wood and Jack Geesland. Elliot and Beverly have a goal of starting their own birthing facility. To the dismay of her possessive sister Elliot, Beverly begins a relationship with an actress named Genevieve, which changes the course of the sister's life. The intriguing series comes to a dramatic conclusion with Beverly's life actually in danger as a result of her emotional isolation from her sister. Let us share our thoughts on the incredibly unclear and frightening show's climax if you're interested in a more in-depth analysis. Spoilers ahead. Dead Ringers begins with Elliot and Beverly talking about the prospects of opening a birthing center to revolutionize the field of gynecology. Beverly suffers from another miscarriage, which severely affects her emotionally, as she has been dreaming of becoming a mother. The twin sisters take care of several patients with varying pregnancy-related complications, as two reputed gynecologists working at Westcott Memorial Hospital. When a famed actress named Genevieve arrives in the hospital to consult Beverly, Elliot swaps with her twin sister to inspect the former's uterus. Genevieve soon realizes that she probably won't be able to deliver a baby safely. She finds solace in a lonely pub, where Beverly soon follows. Regular acts of intimacy between Beverly and Genevieve cause Elliot to believe that her sister is having an affair. The soft-spoken twin then expresses to Elliot her affection for the actress, showing that they are both involved. In an effort to revolutionize human reproduction, Elliot has been undertaking illicit research at Westcott to raise embryos outside of the human body. Elliot's research gets threatened when the FBI inspects the hospital. Beverly and Elliot meet with Rebecca and Susan, who show interest in investing in the birthing center the twin sisters want to open. Although Rebecca doesn't get convinced about the potency of the baby sister to run such a center built using millions, she is impressed by Elliot's research plans. Greta, the domestic worker at Beverly and Elliot's house, collects waste materials, such as used tampons, blood-soaked tissues, etc., from the house without the twin sisters knowing about the same. Rebecca decides to invest in the Mantle sisters' birthing center, which leads to the opening of Mantle Parker. Genevieve takes Beverly away for a weekend getaway, infuriating Elliot. She takes her anger out on Agnes, a homeless woman who makes fun of the former by saying how her sister abandoned her. Elliot pushes Agnes from the building, only for the latter to fall and die. Beverly gets pregnant with the help of Genevieve's brother, who becomes their sperm donor. She initially hides the same from her sister, but the latter eventually comes to know about the same. Beverly finally learns she is expecting twins. Greta creates an artwork using the supplies she gathered from the Mantle's home. Rebecca commissions Silas Jordan, a well-known author, to write a glowing article about the Mantle sisters and their clinic. Jordan goes to Susan's family with Elliot and Beverly because Florence is expecting quadruplets. Elliot makes a mistake while making the delivery. After the encounter, Jordan ends up penning an article that praises Beverly and criticizes Elliot. In order to portray Beverly as the establishment's future, Genevieve, Rebecca, Susan, Elliot's dependable co-worker Tom, etc. band together to oppose expelling the rule breaker from Mantle Parker. For the benefit of Beverly's future and relationship, the group requests that she destroy her twin sister. Is Beverly dead? Does Elliot kill her? Beverly initially opposes destroying her sister, but Genevieve forces her to pick between the two of them. Beverly eventually decides to publicly condemn her sister by referring to her as an abuser and criminal because she has been fantasizing about starting a family with the actress. However, Beverly is driven to Elliot by her guilt at betraying her sister, only for the baby sister to reunite with her twin. Elliot pretends to be reunited with her and offers to assist with the C-section delivery of her children. After giving an anesthetic to Beverly, Elliot cuts her abdomen first. It is obvious that Elliot wants her sister killed because she doesn't care how Beverly is feeling after having her babies removed. Elliot, who has been switched, responds to Susan's inquiry about her sister by saying that she is gone, presumably implying that she has passed away. Beverly has lost a tremendous quantity of blood, and still she receives no medical care, making it extremely improbable that she will survive. Elliot, who is in charge of the lab, 
must have taken precautions to make sure that no one could find her sister in time to save her. As Elliot continues to live as Beverly for two years by the end of the series, it is clear that the latter never gets found. The former must have sought the help of her trusted colleague Tom to dispose of her body, since the latter becomes the new director of Mantle Parker's lab. Tom must have thought that he should make amends with Elliot after his betrayal, which may have led him to take care of Beverly's body. Elliot likely kills Beverly for the latter's betrayal. Elliot hadn't expected her sister to turn on her, especially after the latter's reunion with Genevieve. The two sisters had been together for a large portion of their life. Beverly becomes a mother after Elliot devotes her life to studying embryo development. In response, Beverly, who fantasizes about breaking away from Elliot to live her future life with Genevieve, only offers her betrayal and avoidance. Elliot's refusal to acknowledge and put up with the same causes her to probably abandon her sister and let her perish. Having said that, the series doesn't outrightly confirm that Beverly is dead. Elliot may have asked Tom to take a nearly dead Beverly to an unrevealed location. Since the twin sisters have never lived without each other, it can be hard for Elliot to survive without the presence of Beverly. If that's the case, she may have locked up her sister secretly, also for punishing her more by stealing her life. Why does Elliot swap her identity with Beverly? Elliot begins to pose as Beverly's twin sister with the latter's twin children, after likely abandoning Beverly to die. Susan and Rebecca are informed by her that Elliot delivered her children before leaving. Elliot meets up with Genevieve to live with her and her two daughters, while posing as Beverly. To know what compelled Beverly to betray her twin sister, Elliot must have switched identities with her. As the only director of Mantle Parker, Beverly refuses to live with Genevieve and her twin children as she does. By swapping her identity, Elliot gains everything that made her sister turn against her. Ever since meeting Genevieve, Elliot has been interested in her. That must be the reason why she pretends to be Beverly and inspects the actress's uterus when the latter arrives at Westcott for a consultation. Elliot must have had to back off when Beverly formed a strong relationship with the actress. By becoming her twin sister, Elliot snatches Genevieve away from the former. Despite the fact that both of the twin sisters shared the idea for Mantle Parker, Elliot's perseverance and commitment laid the groundwork for the birthing center's establishment. She might have wished to keep the same after Beverly fired her in accordance with Rebecca and Susan's orders. Elliot reclaims her place in the birthing facility by switching her identity 